In this video, I'm going to show you an easier method to service this anthracite coal burning stove. This is called the Chubby Stove. I've done other videos about it. It's a great stove and burning anthracite is a great way to heat anthracite coal. This stuff right here, it burns cleanly. It gives more heat, considerably more heat than seasoned hardwood. And it gives even heat. I did a previous video on how to service this stove. It only takes about five minutes every 12 hours. And I had a lot of questions. Questions like, do you have to lie on the floor to floss the stove? Flossing is where you slide the fire poker back and forth between the rotating grate that holds the coal. Well, the short answer is no. You do not have to open this bottom door and lie down on the floor to floss. This is what I normally do, personally, and this is what I showed in my previous video of how to service this stove. This is called flossing, and the idea of doing this is to shake loose the hard-packed coal ash that's formed at the bottom of the firebox by sliding the fire poker between the slats on this, this rotating grate here. I personally like to lie down and open the bottom door because I can see what I'm doing and I can make sure that I get the slats, uh, every slat of the grate flossed into the ash pan down here. But maybe you don't want to lie down on the floor. Maybe you have stiff joints or you're older. I've had a lot of questions, is it really necessary? And it's not. And there's an alternative method to doing the flossing. And here's what that is. On the bottom door here are two small adjustable openings to control the intensity of the burn. What a lot of folks do, and what works pretty well, instead of lying down, is to open these bottom dampers and slide the fire poker inside and feel around until the fire poker slips into one of the spaces of the grate and do the flossing that way. And then as you look through the the vent and start to see hot coals falling down instead of ash, that means you're done in that area. You can feel over and move on to the next slot. It takes a little getting used to because obviously the disadvantage is that you can't see what you're doing. But this works pretty well and it is a lot more comfortable than lying down on the floor and looking up at the uh, underside of the grate. When you're done on one side, you can slide the fire poker into the other vent control and do the same thing. And then when you figure you're done all the slots, all the flossing, close those vent doors back down to their normal burn setting, which is about an eighth of an inch open or so. And then you move on to the second step of servicing, which is shaking down the ash. Normally, that's done over here. In fact, it's always done over here by taking that same fire poker and sliding it into the hole in this handle built into the side of the stove, and then sliding that back and forth. And what that does, as I've shown before in other videos, is it rotates the grate that holds the coals and shakes those coals so that the ash falls down into the ash pan where it will sit for the next 12 hours until you service again. Now in my previous video, I showed and recommended pulling this handle back and forth 27 times. There's, no th uh, there's nothing magic about that number. That's just the number I found gets all the ash falling down very thoroughly. But I do know that you can get by with less shaking down if uh, you're not that strong or you find it tiring and hard to bend over and slide the, the grate back and forth that many times. 10 or 15 times works pretty much just as well. And again, I'll just show you how this looks in real time. That was a lot less than 27. I didn't keep count. I'm sure someone can let me know in the comments section exactly how many shakes that was, but 
that reduces the difficulty of servicing even more. So whereas in my previous video, I did the lying down method and flossing each slot in the grate individually, making sure I could see what I was doing, and then the full 27 shakes after that, this method, you don't have to lie down. You can just kind of stoop down, slide the poker through the doors, and you can get by with only 10 or 15 shakes of the shaker handle. So it reduces what's already a light and easy job of about five minutes every 12 hours to possibly as little as three minutes every 12 hours, which is pretty easy. And in my experience, a lot less time and energy than you have to invest keeping a wood stove going. So I hope you found that video interesting and helpful. If you have a stove like this or are thinking of getting one, I'll leave links in the description of where to find these and to my other videos on how these work and why I like burning anthracite coal. Again, this is called the Chubby Stove. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the Cabin in the Woods channel for lots more great content.